What's good y'all, your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Jim Cornette talking about him trending on Twitter. Now, if you don't know, I already made a video talking about it a few days ago on uh, Jim Cornette trending because of a thumbnail he had used on uh, what well, I mean, he didn't make the thumbnail, but a thumbnail was used on a video talking about a uh, Swerve Strickland, and it had Swerve Strickland, a Q-tip, and Jim Cornette likeness as a gorilla, and people felt it was very racist, and it, it definitely looked the kind of way, but a lot of people felt it was very racist, and they didn't even really listen to the video and what was being said. But it caused, you know, Jim to once again trend on Twitter. And there was a lot of people that was upset. So uh, I definitely wanted to check out to see what Jim had to say about this whole situation. Should be a very interesting one. A lot of you guys had your uh, opinions on the whole uh, situation in itself on my video talking about it. So it's only fair to see what Jim has to say in defense of himself and, and what really happen when that whole situation came about because to be honest with you i don't think it was any malicious intent uh you know for it to you know get to this this level but it does still if you don't know the context or anything it definitely looks kind of wild all right let's see what jim Cornette has to say about this whole entire situation man but I'll tell you, say I, I mentioned it got three thousand likes on Twitter. That's because everybody loves me on Twitter, Brian. <laughs> no, because I've been <laughs> trending again. I was trending. <laughs> I'll have you know, uh, yesterday evening while I was, I believe I was outside with Harley Quinn giving her a vigorous belly rub, and awaiting <laughs> the start of Svengooly. And I was trending on Twitter and didn't even know it. But that's because I'm Trendy McTrenderson, and people just love me and can't stop talking about me. <laughs> and would you, I know you know, but maybe some of the folks don't know. This time I trended on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Because when you and I had a discussion, Brian, here real recently, as in a couple days ago, about how stupid it was for Tony Khan to present Swerve Strickland, his brand new world champion, the, the fucking supposed top guy in the company, not only present that title as subordinate to the New Japan Pro Wrestling IWGPURSE title <laughs> and, and John Moxley and not give Swerve a promo and not give Swerve any kind of willow at a celebration here lately uh, uh, but swerve didn't and not only that but he went out there and it took him 15 or 20 minutes to beat a human q-tip and old cow <laughs> felcher <laughs> the disrespect. i said it cow may be a wonderful young man and he can do all the moves but you could teach mighty joe young or cheetah to do the wrestling moves but that doesn't mean that they need to be doing them against your world champion. Why the fuck is Tony Khan <laughs> not treating Swerve Strickland any better? And, and when, that was pretty much the gist of the video. If you watched it, that's what it was. But no one really cared because all they saw was the thumbnail and they saw how it looked and no one checked the context of it. Once again, I agree. It does look wild. But when you actually listen to it, you actually watch the video, you understand it had nothing to do with what the main video was, you know. But at the end of the day, people going to come at you with pitchforks. Once they see something and they don't even know the context of it, they're going to come at you with pitch pitchforks. So, But our clip went out on YouTube. Travis Heckle did another brilliant piece of art. He, he should be hanging in the Louvre on a daily basis. That's what everybody says about Travis. Actually, I think they're talking about his art, but that's the way they say it. Nevertheless, he depicted old Kyle Felcher as a Q-tip yeah, and me as Mighty Joe Young mm -hmm. and Swerve Strickland as, I know this is a stretch, Swerve, Swerve Strickland. Strickland. Yeah. And people saw the artwork and, oh my God, Cornette's so racist. Yep. Cornette is a racist person. Cornette, he's got to be canceled. Yep. <laughs> he's got to be run out of One person said, 
<laughs> he core Jim Cornette should be escorted out of the wrestling community. <laughs> As, as forever. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. You're out of here. Let's, let's go. <laughs> I suggest that that person that said that on Twitter come on over. My garage door is always open to you. If you if you can hike 200 feet up the driveway and sweat, smile and say hello to the cameras that are hooked up to Stacy's phone and and hop the fence before you do that and uh, blah blah blah. But come on up and escort me out of the wrestling community. The wrestling community. If there is a wrestling community, Turd Blossom, you ain't in it either. <laughs> so nevertheless, because I oh was God, the gorilla, mm-hmm. I'm racist. Because mm-hmm. I said, why does Tony Khan want to treat Swerve Strickland that way? I'm obviously a racist. And that's what people just didn't pick up on. The fact that he was the gorilla. It would have been different. If Swerve was depicted as the gorilla for sure, like I said, the optics looked away, but there's always some context to it. And nobody was really trying to give, listen, or hear the context because there are a lot of people have the preconceived notion of Jim Cornette. You feel me? And that's why it's just one of those things where it's like, uh, I'd rather at least hear what the person has to say before I give my complete judgment on a guy. That's just me. Because... Kyle Felcher looks like a Q-tip. I don't know what I, I think any race can stick a Q-tip in their ear or up their nose or wherever orifice they need a quick clean out. So maybe he's neutral, but, um, so with these fucking, <laughs> they trend us on Twitter mm-hmm. for making me look silly in our artwork. Yep. And, 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 and again, yeah, Cornette should have known better. Yeah, because I'm sitting here drawing all these goddamn things in my spare time, dipshit. And I, this is why I said I doubt he had any I control over that. I doubt he he was even thinking about that because that's not what Jim Cornette does. I could I could tell I I said that in the video. I doubt he had any any type of idea of what was going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> but you know. And by the way, again, Bravo, Travis. <laughs> You're a prince, a prince among men. We haven't really talked about that much, but you see, Jim was such a fan of Jerry Lawler that he learned how to draw. Yeah. And he's <laughs> been the one secretly, Travis Eckle's a made up name. It's not a real thing. He is Travis Eckle. I am Heckle. I am Heckle and you are Heckle and we are all heckling together. But it, what the, do these people exist <laughs> in the same <laughs> world of reality that the rest of us do that they just lose their fucking minds again folks i remind you there are serious issues that you could use some of this energy there are wars going on in the world there are hungry children and abused animals a goddamn criminal pig could be elected president again (laughs) and your minds are blowing up on your twitter machines where you're actually (laughs) able to say things Two people and about people without repercussions mm. because they drew a picture of me as a gorilla in the same fucking frame as the black man that I was advocating for, as Paul <laughs> Heyman says, to be presented in a better light. I got news for all of you. Take my penis in your mouth and <laughs> suck it. What? But in a non-coercive way. <laughs> what? Yeah, that makes there's, it that makes it better. Yeah, it makes it there's better. no coercion at all. I'm just telling you, do this. I'm not gonna make you physically. You can slink on off with your tail between your legs, but if you remain here, you need to take my penis in your mouth and suck it. What? You can all stay away from my penis for the record. <laughs> what? Well, that's they don't want to break normal tradition, Brian. People have been doing that for years. What? So you know, it's anyway. It, it's uh, it's crazy. Now there are certainly people that are predisposed to not liking you because you mm-hmm. make fun of their favorite wrestlers mm-hmm. and succeed and haven't and, failed. And, and to be to be fair, if I met these people that you mention and knew them personally, I would be making fun of them too. <laughs> so there's that. They know that, so they can kind of assume that. Well, Cornette would rip the shit out of me if he ever fucking saw the state of me. So I probably wouldn't like him anyway. 
But let's just say this. And again, you don't draw the art. You simply talked about the content that led to the art. Travis bases every piece of art off things that Jim says. Usually mm -hmm. there's something you have to listen deep into the clip to realize what exactly is referenced in the art. Mm -hmm. It's part of the fun. But the key words where you have to listen to it. There we go. Right. And in this artwork, Swerb Strickland's portrayed as, why am I with these two idiots? And as in all the arts, Travis is portraying Jim Cornette in a fun, silly manner. Yeah. He mentioned Mighty Joe Young. There we He's go. He's Mighty Joe Young. But these people don't like fun, Brian, unless it's silly, stupid wrestling done by children. Otherwise, fun is outlawed. But let me just say this too. Race had nothing to do with the clip in question. Race had nothing to do with the artwork. Uh, at no point did any of us think it did. And if you looked at this and your first thought was that's racist because Jim Cornette, who <laughs> last I checked was notoriously white, yeah. <laughs> is portrayed as Infamously. mighty. Is portrayed as mighty Joe Young. If you saw that and said there's a race issue there because he's portrayed as an animal, a gorilla, maybe you have the problem with race. And the thing is, like I said, for someone who don't know, and if they add the, if they put the caption, this is racist on Twitter or whatever, as soon as people see it, they're going to uh, associate it because they don't know. They don't know what's going on. They just see a black guy, gorilla, got to be racist, right? Without it ever being a thought of, hmm, what's going on here? That's really what it is. People are going to make their preconceived judgments and, and ideals on you within the first few seconds, bro. It's, it's not even going to take long for them to assume something just off a first few seconds without any context. That's just how it is, especially on Twitter. Not everyone else. There's a lot of people who want to point fingers at everyone for everything. This is this. This is that. This had nothing to do with any of that. Race never came into any of this. <laughs> And then all of a sudden people want to yell but about this artwork. It doesn't matter because it makes them mad and I love it. Yeah, he doesn't because care. Because here's the, here's the thing. He doesn't give a shit. You little fucking dipshits. <laughs> he don't Anybody care. that gets mad about that, again, you can fuck off or blow me. It's your choice, <laughs> but you can't cancel me yeah. because I don't work for anyone. Yeah. I don't care whether anybody listens to this fucking show or not, to be honest with you. To be quite perfectly honest with you, I love the people that love me, but I'd a whole lot rather right now be out in the backyard rubbing Harley Quinn's belly. <laughs> so it, it, we do our own thing, Brian. People have the choice of whether to listen. If mm -hmm. they don't want to listen, they don't have to. But you can't fire me because I don't quit. As long as I don't quit, I can just do this whenever the fuck I want to. And we don't have to make anybody fucking happy. And that's that's the point where people don't realize he don't work for nobody. He can do whatever he want. He doesn't care. He gets endorsements and stuff, but he don't care. He's literally one of those people. He's made his money. He's chilling. He don't care. This is just something to do as a pastime, honestly. He doesn't give a damn. He doesn't. And that's one of those things where it's like it's different if he was tied into so many corporations and stuff like that. That's different. When someone that just genuinely just doing this because, ah, fuck it, whatever. People listen cool. If they don't, that's cool too. Doesn't really care. It's kind of hard to cancel them off of uh, a, a situation that's been taken out of context. Except the people who are listening to us in record numbers because we don't put up with bullshit like this. And we don't apologize for silly ass shit that other people make up. And we're not lobbying for a job. So we don't have to tell people that this goddamn fiasco of a fucking Chinese fire drill that you see on these wrestling programs actually <laughs> makes any goddamn <laughs> sense. We don't have to say that because we don't care whether they don't like us or not. I'm lobbying for a job for the record. <laughs> well, and you're going to get one in the fucking lobby of the theater, tearing those tickets and showing people their seat. I'd yeah. like to run Channel 9 or Channel 11 in New York and revitalize things. <clears throat> you, could, you could add them up and make Channel 20. It's not bad. See there? I, already the marketing is... But but that's the point. Is if, if I, it, it Cancel all you want. 
because we don't do this on purpose to shock people. We're not even doing this to make fucking money on purpose. That just accidentally happened. (laughs) We're doing this because this is what we decided we were going to do. And everybody that can't take a little goddamn honesty along with their entertainment amuses me amuses for fuck's me. sake. A, <laughs> you were so used to people being mealy mouthed and beating around the bush and trying not to fucking call shit shite that I, that I, they just don't, they don't know what to think. It's we're still talking about bad wrestling, poorly done or the occasional good wrestling it done well. But I don't think there's a, you know, could we be like Blassie, Brian? When he first went to Japan, got on TV, the people couldn't handle it. They had three or four heart attacks. Can we give somebody a brain aneurysm on Twitter? Oh, Lord. That's probably not a good idea for, um, yeah. not all promotion is good promotion. I don't know. I don't know. I think if if, if the this, this person from uh, piss on fucking Donald in England... You know, Stratford on Avon, piss on Donald. That ought to be a place. Uh, it's just a lot of ignorant people. You just, he, mean, had a, he had a fucking aneurysm it. because of something he read on Twitter and dropped dead there straight away with blood <laughs> coming out of his nose. There's That's- just ignorant people out there. There are people who just want a reason to not like you. There yep. are people who I saw, I don't need to listen to it to know it's racist. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. I That's saw that too. Obvious what we don't need to yep. listen to that. You I might learn something. I saw that. I was like, okay. Heaven yes. knows you don't want to learn anything. I'll tell you, there's too many people wagging their fingers and too many people who are, you know, allegedly all the way on the left who are pushing a lot of people far away. I think we ought to, we ought to keep everybody's finger firmly in the middle. Stick it up your ass. That's what I said. Yeah, well, that's, that's generally in the middle. Where is yours located? Mine's in the middle. <laughs> that's the middle. <laughs> oh my god, bro! I I figured he he don't give a crap. He doesn't care. It it. That's what people should understand. You have this up this rage and um this this highness about you. You're on your high horse. When I see people do that, I'll be like, if you're gonna do that then you shouldn't be watching wwe you shouldn't be watching aew you shouldn't be supporting a lot of things that you support because if you're gonna have this high moral compass then you need to have it all across the board but people don't they're selective with their rage especially in this situation especially since i watched the clip and i understood the context i was like oh okay does it look bad of course for someone that doesn't know but all you, it takes just a couple of minutes and you can figure out what's going on. That's usually what happens on social media. Someone sees something taken out of context. They already have their preconceived notion of, oh, this person's bad. But then if they would have just took a little bit of time to actually watch what was being said, then it's like, oh. But then for some people, it doesn't matter. So Jim Cornette, he doesn't give a fuck. And uh, trying to figure that Comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys feel like the hate was justified with this whole thumbnail situation? Do you feel or do you feel like people just overreacted as most people end up doing on Twitter and social media and they blew this out of proportion and it really wasn't that big big of a deal? Y'all let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love, support, road to 150k, and I'm still in speed of YouTube rest of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.